Hey guys, Trudy here from It's a True Story. And today, well today we're gonna talk about worry. Worry, man. I had a week last week. I had situations with my dog and my mom, health related, that were so scary. And you know what, if I gave in to worry, I would have been a basket case. But my grandma used to quote Mark Twain to me. And Mark Twain always said that um, he's known a great many troubles in his life and most really never happen. And also that worry is like paying a debt that you don't owe. So I had to keep that in mind so I wouldn't freak out. So that made me think that this would be a really good chance to tell you guys about how I kept my head from going off into a crazy tangent about all the things that could happen. So the first thing that you wanna do is to just stay out of speculating because you know what? Speculation only ever ends in suffering. And if you don't believe me, think about this. Like, whenever you think about a coulda, woulda, shoulda, like, that should have happened this way, I should have done it this way, like, you end up making yourself miserable, right? So who wants to suffer? I don't want to suffer. So you remind yourself, speculation is only suffering. The second thing that I did was think about what's behind the worry. And behind all worries is fear. Fear, fear, fear. And fear is nothing more than false evidence appearing real. So if it's all an illusion, and I really don't have to get myself worked up about something because what am I really afraid of besides fear itself? Then why am I worrying? See how that works? And the third thing is maybe my most favorite thing to do of all. It's a game I play. It's called, what's the worst thing that could ever happen? And believe me, I can come up with some pretty shitty scenarios. And I know you can too, right? And usually it has to do with doom and gloom and death and despair. And here's the thing about that. If you go all the way to the worst thing that could ever happen, then you start thinking about, okay, the worst thing could happen. And then, and then I go on, right? So anything that you could think about, the worst thing ever, as my meditation teacher likes to say, you know what, every hundred years, it's a hundred new people. And when it comes to pets, like my beautiful dog, Ginger Peaches, who is so sick this week, you know what? Every 20 years, new pets. It's a very simplistic way of thinking of things and maybe depressing, but also true and honest. And so the worst thing that could happen is you go to a place where you think about the worst thing that could happen. So just don't do that. And that's three ways to stop worrying. And I'm telling you, if you like what I'm doing here, please like and subscribe. I'm here every first and third Thursday of the month. And you know what? Don't worry. You know what? Seriously, just be happy. Why else are we here? Bye.